<laughs> Louis J. J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking genius. <laughs> you are a genius. What are you up to now? What are you working on that's genius? Uh, I started making my own AI art posters for my tours. Oh, I saw that. Dude, I, 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 I fired shitty artists. I'm no longer paying $30 a poster to shitty artists. Damn. You just type in ninety dollars for the year for AI art. Pretty easy. I have no problem with it. Do well, you have a yeah. problem with people using AI? No, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. About well, for what? For anything. Yeah, I don't really care. No, the artwork looks kind of whack, like kind of whacked out. What's yours look like? Is it better? It's still kind of whacked out, but I kind of like it. I don't. <laughs> does it matter? Yeah, I don't think it matters at all. You could draw a fucking stick figure does, with a you microphone. You literally take a picture, put the date on the bottom yeah. of it, and that's yeah. that. A lot of them are ironically bad, where yeah. it's like bad photoshops. That's what people do anyway. Was yeah. that what the depraved was? The uh, devil one? The devil. That was AR. Yeah, yeah that, was that. Sick. that was AI art. That was AI that was art. Tight, but no, actually. wasn't. I didn't. I didn't just say, "Hey, give me a depraved poster." Yeah. I fucking said, "I want a devil performing for demons in hell comedy." Right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wrote that was my prompt. <laughs> Then I said, I don't like that one. I said, regenerate, like three times. Yeah. Then I like the one they came up with. There you go, that's it. Then I put it into another poster making program to where I could add all of the names and the fucking, you know. Then you photo, you, you took it from there. Then I. Pst. I love satanic comedies. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dark, that's what I want to see. I want to see the fucking devil doing stand up. For yeah. sure. The devil talking about relationships. There's not enough of that. There's not like, nobody's doing evil comedy. You know, it's True. either quirky and fun and cute, yeah. kind of like fucking, you know, badass now, but nobody's, nobody's really doing badass comedy is also hilarious. What's badass comedy? You, you guys know, do badass comedy. leather jacket, cigarette. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. No, that's your, you guys are badass comics now. You don't even know. Oh, you, you think you're not badass comedians? <laughs> We're not badass. You guys are the bad badass. boys of comedy. Yes, you are. We're not badass. We're you're cutting the bad edge. boys, dude. We're cutting I'm edge fucking... avant-garde. <laughs> We're cutting edge avant-garde. <laughs> We're cutting edge avant-garde. <laughs> No, dude. you guys are the bad boys. You guys are the ultimate bad boys. No, we're the, the only evil comics out there. Dude. <laughs> you guys are the dude, mark of the beast, bitch. You guys six, are, six, yeah. six, wow, six, you guys went totally to the dark side. Yeah, dude, we're fucking slithering all day. Shit. Nah, we're slithering. Slithering called it. We're no, slithering. Sli nah, obviously we're fucking Gryffindor, dude. Gryffindor, dude. dude. <laughs> There's nothing obviously. we can do to escape greatness. <laughs> We try. I wish I could be Slytherin. I just became Gryffindor. <laughs> just Gryffindor through and through. Yeah. Lemaire's fucking Hufflepuff. Ray Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff. Fucking asshole. That's fucking Hufflepuff. jerk. Don't you hate people when you ask them what house they belong to and they say Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? It's cra Dude, it's crazy. It's infuriating. Yeah, yeah. There's no way fucking... you, can, you can think of it, but you can say that with a straight face. Ravenclaws, what's that one? They just do nothing? Uh, Hufflepuff's I don't know. like Slytherin light. Yeah. Maybe we, we could be. <laughs> We Raven could be Ravenclaw. We still have a little bit of fucking evil comedy. True. But we're <laughs> no, also dude. But dude, selling out to Harry, our corporate overlords. But Harry has the mark of fucking, he True. shall not be named right in his forehead. Shane, so, you got SNL. You're comedy. Gryffindor. There's no escaping it, okay? We'll see. Last time I got Gryffindor, they banished me <laughs> to <laughs> Slytherin. <dude. laughs> I had to be Slytherin for five fucking years. I've been they trying call, to be Gryffindor. They refer to you as he who shall not be <laughs> yeah. named on the set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back. They're gonna have to fight me. They're gonna have to join forces to wizard me away. Expelliarmus. Shane. Back to podcasts. <laughs> uh, back to the podcasting realm. <laughs> it's nice though. I like the podcasting realm. You guys know it's I love not it. Bad, dude. I'm, gonna, I'm never gonna be beyond the podcasting realm. Podcasting's nice. Podcasting fucking rules. Yeah. yeah. You're just talking. 
You're just trying to compete with someone's internal monologue at work. As long as you can beat someone in their head being like, fuck, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. You got a killer podcast on your hands. We're keeping people alive. Yeah. Yes. Do you know how many people would have killed themselves without your podcast? At least 25. Don't you get, like, are, are you counting the amount of DMs you've gotten with people being like, <laughs> hey, dude, just so you know, I would have killed myself without your podcast. That's a real gay dm that i get once a month no it's not gay it's, it's gay nice, as hell, dude. dude i i have to fight every instinct to not post it and make fun of them every time <laughs> yeah you really are, you the are devil you're, the devil, you're the devil performing for demons <laughs> dude hey, you're making a deal ai is gonna swallow you up it's gonna tear you up that's it dude i like to put money in the hands of hardworking americans and say make a flyer make a flyer that's it's it. more about the macro picture for me yeah <laughs> So what you up to, man? What you been doing? What's up, man? We've been missing you. What have I been we doing? We do miss you. I'm fine. I've been broke for the past three months. I stopped Why touring. Why are you broke? I, I, I stopped touring after I released my last special. I was like, I'm going to take like three months off. Why? I I just never really paid attention to how money worked in my bank account. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> I didn't realize exactly how much <laughs> touring was keeping me afloat. It was the first time in like a long time where I was like, like sweating, like legitimately like, holy fuck, dude. And uh, yeah, so... You know, I'll I'll really do anything for money at this point. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys want to pay me to do anything, I'm really down. We make a flyer for make, dude, Can I make your flyers? <laughs> can I make your AI flyer? Please, can you make dude? me devil please. AI flyers. <laughs> dude, please hire me to make your flyers and just pay me a, a really competitive rate. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take that's Lemare. Lemare, that's your job, dude. You I'll do a flyer off Lemaire. with Lemare. I'll have, do it during have, the show. I have a difference. I have someone else. Yeah, I was going to say those are nice. You got yeah. spiffy ass flyers. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> those are spiffy. I actually, I was like, I walked out. I saw the mayor designing a flyer for you. Yeah, that was, he gave it to me. Th I needed something like now. I was like, let me get something now. I'm, I'm waiting. He, three days later, I get a text like, how's this? I'm like, I already have it's it. Trash. Can I see what it was? <laughs> it was trash. I'll tell you right now, because I could, 15 minutes of flyer, I'm in and out, yeah. dude. That's what I'm Real saying. Real high-end art. I, I can make flyer. I saw the flyer you made. It was trash. Uh, I changed it. Right. I <laughs> saw the, it was, yeah. Dude. The ground floor of the crap flyer the mayor made. <laughs> I, I can come in and later. do both their jobs. I'm going to be honest with you. If you just give me both their salaries, no. I'll take a 10%. I'll take a 10% drop. We'll just start over. I'll leave gas digital. I'll be these fucking guys. Are you They're kidding me? Take our germs, bro. You guys could never. <laughs> Hispanics coming Quit to take your germs. Take germs. <laughs> he made his way to Texas to take your germs. You guys have a form of strong wall. Yeah. We'll defend our germs. Let's go. At any cost. How? Physical violence. <laughs> He can knows I take he, them both. He's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I know. I could definitely take them both. No, no I don't think you could get both. I That's it. At the same time, I no think way. I could. Gardini's a wrestler who's not afraid to put a thumb in someone's butt. And Lemaire is he's a Jiu Jitsu athlete as well. And a, a fake wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> but right now he's got dinged yeah, up. He's got foot. A bum leg. <laughs> <laughs> he took a brewski tumble the other night. <laughs> he took some brewski tumbies. Oh, just you rolled your ankle walking? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That no, used to be the Louis J. Gomez special. I just when I was in high school, once a month and it would never heal because it was always a little bit rolled. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd be walking at it at, in the middle of conversation, just fall on the floor. <laughs> oh. Bro, that's I'm still doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I shatter my ankle once a year. Once a year. I remember I did. I, I just it, for no there was no there was no athletics involved. There was no. I wasn't running. I wasn't playing basketball. It was simply just no. walking. And I, I was for like a year. I kept on doing it. And I was walking around in a cane. When I was in like the twelfth grade, you had a cane. I had a cane every Damn, day you in were school. Goth with a cane because <laughs> you're an old angle. <laughs> but it was more that it wasn't goth, dude. At that point, I had discovered more like metal, like, pimp devil wear. Like it would be like oh, a it'd be like a no, bowling it'd be like a bowling shirt with the devil on, <laughs> and like big Jenko jeans. Oh my god! Like, you had a cane? What was you your a cane? cane you didn't have a regular cane. You had like a you had an evil cane, dude. <laughs> evil cane. I know you had an evil cane. Yeah, I had an evil what cane. was your hand gripping? What type of skull head was it? <laughs> it was a skull with an orb, dude. <laughs> no, it wasn't a skull. It was like a hand with an orb. Oh, it was like an evil hand. Oh, you were an evil wizard. <laughs> <laughs> you were a dark wizard at school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. And, dude i remember i fucking had that cane dude and i i i crashed my mom's car of course i crashed my mom's Obviously, car you're up to evil mischief <laughs> me and my friends we were hanging out and uh we we're just like you know cruising around in my mom's dodge neon and uh it was like wet out i think i hydroplane i don't know exactly what happened i just fucking i've never been a good driver i just fucking careened into like a, a like a like a seawall next to like the hudson river and i just fucked up the front of her car 
And then I went back. I was working at KFC at the time, and my manager at KFC. Yeah, was like, dude, you were evil at KFC. <laughs> <laughs> you were evil at KFC. Prepare the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I said to my goblet. <laughs> Throw it into that of boiling oil. Mm, give me the chicken caucuses. Mm. <laughs> I have newt, please. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god! So he told me he was like, it was Mother's Day. This is Mother's Day, dude. Senior year of high school, and he's like, yeah. He was like, go across the street to Shoprite and buy your mom flowers. While you're buying her flowers, or or say, then come out and call the cops and say somebody hit the car while you were buying your mom flowers. Right. Yeah, that's um. So like, the cop comes <laughs> and he doesn't believe me at all. He's like. <laughs> He's like, the, a car, he's like, a car hit this. And I was like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why were you the devil? <laughs> why were you evil? <laughs> The evil Puerto Rican kid, dude, dude. So the cops like, why, why is there mud all around the the, the wheel well and the t- around the tire? And I was like, I don't know, dude. They must have threw mud at the tire. That's crazy. I don't know. They did that. He's like, it looks like you drove off the road and hit into a guardrail. And I was like, no, I didn't do that. <laughs> Definitely not. So they took the report anyway, dude. They, they let me get away with it. That's awesome. And then I came home. And it was me. It was like me and like two chicks and my buddy. And like I, I hobbled in. I was like, "Mom, I was like, I, I crashed the car, dude." She literally. I mean, I watched her run at me, dude. Like, the, like, like the real devil, dude. Like, it was the craziest. You remember? You ever see? Um, uh, what's that movie? The, it's in silence with uh, Jim from The Office. Yeah. Quiet place, yeah, dude. It was yeah, like the yeah. quiet place <laughs> devil. They just fucking, dude. She came at me, and I was like, I couldn't fucking run fast <laughs> enough, dude. And she started beating me in front of my friends, and then we all ran. And then my mom chased me and my friends through the streets of West Havistraw. Um, they left like their book bags in the car, and like the girl left her like varsity like letter jacket. My mom went to a bridge and threw everything off the oh bridge. My God, yeah. Damn. Where were the flowers? Oh she, oh, she started hitting me with the flowers. That's right. I was like, I got your flowers. It was nuts. I mean, it was a neon. It was a Dodge Neon. Yeah, you can't fuck that up. That was a, yeah. that was a big deal. Yeah, dude. Just smashing the car up like that. That was literally the least expensive car that yeah. you could buy new in the world. Yeah. <laughs> At the time. Yeah, they were, Dodge Neons were tough cars. That, that is a tough car. Dude. They were iconic. Honestly. There's not one Dodge Neon that's not damaged like that, though. No, she could drive that around. No, you can't see a Dodge Neon. You can't find a Dodge Neon today that's one color. You can only find like panels. (laughs) Dude, I I would love to get a Dodge. Dude, honestly, I have to buy a second car because my girl fucking Ubers everywhere. And maybe I'll get a Dodge Dodge Neon, Neon, dude. How sick would that be? Just a fucking used 98 Dodge Neon. Yeah. (sighs) That would be fucking nice. Have her bopping around to that. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> if you sick. Yeah. She's I'm very pretty. So that'd be really fun. I have an injury right now. <laughs> See a this. very pretty blonde lady get, get out of a fucking Dodge Dude. Neon. <laughs> I missed like, on the, the Trank. Fuck? Fucking missed. The trank towed my ass up. What happened? I shot Trank. Dude, it was tearing my ass up. What did, What actually did I happen? I just walked into the corner of a bed. And oh, my God. Gouged That's my shit. Seriously. Yeah. It's, it's like two weeks, dude. That's a tough damage. Yeah. Dude. You must have screamed. You must have had. I literally put I put my down. I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you Did you yell the N word? No. That's my go to. It really does relieve. Really relieve the stress of stubbing your toe. <laughs> yes, when he put down his black child, he screamed the N word. That's okay. It's not racist, dude. It's about yeah. stress relief, dude. <laughs> have you ever heard of scream therapy? It's a real thing. Yes, I it's have. True. They go out in the woods and scream. Yeah, the N word. <laughs> they really. I like, the stuff. I like the men's groups where like an older man stands before you. You have to like push me. You have to like push him. He's like, I just push that. me. It's like I'm a I man. I'm a man. You, yeah. I'm a man. <laughs> Don't stop, boy. And they cry afterwards. The guy holds you and you cry in his arms. And that's the therapy. I love yeah. it. That sounds. That's what I need, dude. Sometimes when I run, I swear this is, this is the gayest thing. Sometimes if I run, I like I get into like almost like a meditative state. And I'm like by myself. Yeah. And around the 25 minute mark, I start crying. Really? <laughs> yeah, you get a runner's low. <laughs> you get a fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's... Like, I swear to God, sometimes I just get emotional and just start crying while I'm running. Really? It's a bizarre thing. I don't some, know exactly. Some know shit what it their is. pants. That's not bad. Yeah. Some runners just shit themselves. It's better. You get when you get the runner's high. It's kind of nuts. I finally started getting that this year. Where you're like, oh, this is what people are talking about. Where you're just like. Haven't it's gotten weird. close it feels, to like, it. it feels like you're floating. It's well, nice. you know, you're like 15, 20 minutes into the run. Yeah. And you're like, you're like, oh, I feel great. 
and I want to keep going. You, you, what, first 10 minutes, like, I want to stop running. Yeah, yeah. I want to do is I want to stop. Yeah. This sucks. And then you get to that, that sweet spot, 20 minutes, you know. I, I really like running. Yeah. Wow. It's great. See, I'm into running, guys. I'm, just happy, nice. just I'm back in jujitsu. Yeah. Really? You look good. All right. You look good. What's your, uh, what are you working on right now in jujitsu? Uh, What's your focus? I'm just fucking trying to not bang up my knees. I got two bad knees. I had knee surgery. So. Do you ever have to just stop? You have the people have to just stop. Doing I stopped for a year and a half. Everyone's injured. Everyone I know who does jujitsu is like severely injured. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. Yeah. It's like literally, I, so even though I can physically defend myself better, I now physically can't because both of my knees are shot. My <laughs> shoulder's fucked up and my neck's all <laughs> fucked up. It's a mess. I, I don't. Yeah, dude, you talk to Rogan. Rogan's just like, he's like, yeah, I got to go get a spinal reconstructive <laughs> fucking <laughs> replacement surgery. You're like, all right, dude. Yeah, I just carry a dagger on me. Yeah. Small yeah. dagger. <laughs> yeah. That'll fend them off. Yeah. That is funny, though. I mean, it's, just, it's fun. I, I did it for a while. I liked it. Yeah. But yeah, I couldn't. As soon as I saw everyone just like my neck's cranked and this and that, I'm like, I don't feel like being old and like arthritic. Yeah, yeah I don't you think know? there's any way around it. I think you just accept the fact that you're going to be super injured. When I started boxing, that was, it was way less on the body. Really? Way less. Yeah, dude. Just, I would rather be punched in the head, to be honest. What about Krav Maga? Jew karate? Yeah. <laughs> we all know what team you're on now. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> but how does it work? I don't really know, dude. I think you fucking... Is that it? Is that Krav Maga? I don't know. I have a <laughs> pinch. <laughs> yeah, <he's> pinch. <laughs> <laughs> you can give me your panties. <laughs> <laughs> Not the IDF. You pinch think. is a good technique. I, I think it's like what you use against like small Palestinian children. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You pinch I'm kidding. them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Josh, I'm bringing some light to a very dark situation. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's all we can do. How to defend yourself against an 11 year old boy. Yeah, that's all we can do. In a shitty house. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, no, that's fine. So, you watch, I watched Terminator for the first time in 30 yeah, years. Dude. Terminator's awesome. First time in 30. I haven't seen the movie since I was a kid. It's a better movie than you remember. Is it really? Terminator's sick, actually. I started watching that a couple years ago. I was always I was like, a T2, man. You T2? Yeah. Of course. That was, like, you know, it was our T2 generation. Was, yeah. I saw T2 in the movies. T1 was. I haven't seen, I don't think, any great. of them, actually. I just started really? watching the original Terminator one time. Like, dude, this is fucking awesome. It yeah, was, awesome. it's such a, like, really cool, and especially now. Because AI art is taking over. Like, dude, I think AI I'm going to. You love I'm AI the, I'm, It's about to become fucking Skynet, dude. And it's all going to start with a poster that I make for Matt and Shane Live. Flyers, yeah. What are you going to do with all? Flyers. What are you going to do with all the interns at Gas Digital? Uh, they're not flyer makers. What can you AI? I'm, I'm trying to just brainstorm with you. Oh, we can. No, we can. Man. There's AI stuff for podcast production. Do like clips. There's 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 AI exactly. programs right now that will. Say you say, all right, you could give the prompt being like, I want to go viral based off of trending topics right now. Oh, right. And then they pull 10 clips. They give you the, the titles. They give you the hashtags. They give you everything. And it's fucking all perfect. They do the cutting. They'll do the zoom in. They'll do all the you could set specific parameters, specific styles of. So, yeah, you guys are fucked. We don't do clips. You guys are all right. <laughs> <laughs> no one can capture guard dogs aesthetic, too. No. Yeah, his aesthetic is. Yeah, but what you could do is you could put in his aesthetic to, as an AI prompt <laughs> and then capture this aesthetic. I think. No offense, I think Guard Dog could be the easiest AI. <laughs> It'd literally be like AI going, "Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what I did earlier." <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Uh, the machines are rising, though. Are you afraid of that? Are you afraid of the machines one day? like becoming so good that they go, all right, humans are the problem. Now we need to eliminate them. Nuclear war, fucking collapse of the banks. There's a bigger chance humans just do that to themselves. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. Like, it's funny, like they're going to figure out we're the problem. It's like, we've human, already done Humans that. haven't figured that out. Yeah, we've been yeah. killing each other the whole time. Yeah, we're just murdering each other constantly. So, yeah, I don't worry. The machines, up. I don't worry about that at all, honestly. Like they're going to uprise and just wipe us out. It's like, no, that's some like Y2K. You remember in the year yeah. 2000? They were yeah. like, dude, Midnight, it's going to hit. Everything's going to blow up. And we all kind of bought it. I bought it a little bit. I was a little bit nervous. I was young. When Y2K, I was yeah, I was pretty young. Sixth grade? Yeah, I was eight. Yeah. I remember Y2K came around. I was just kind of like, 
I was twelve. It was twelfth grade. I don't have any fucking money. I was like, there was like, oh, I was just, yeah. all I the wait, banks yeah. are gonna go out. I was like, I have a drawer that I have a couple of dollars. Oh, I just looked into oh, the, I looked into the orb on my evil cane, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, yeah. eh, we're gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any any major thing? Oh eight was nice. Collapse. The yeah, economy that was decent. That was didn't affect collapse. me. That, what happened in 08? I told you I was a realtor. The house, the housing bubble. I was a real tour. People say that housing bubble. I, I shake my head every time. I have no idea what that means. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess the prices just get too high, and then everyone goes, "No, thank you," and then they all just drop, drop. down. Oh, yeah. drop down. Is that going to happen soon? They say, but Please, the, the problem is housing bubbles happen? are. There's not like a national housing bubble. Every city is different, so like it'll happen in certain markets, and then other markets will go up. It's like, like there's going to be a blanket housing bubble. It's not going to happen. But it did. That was the subprime mortgage crisis. All those mortgage. Yeah. There was people who had all those mortgages. Oh, that they yes. afford, and Then they got foreclosed on and blah, blah, blah. They're not doing that again. But they were still, even during 08, there were still housing markets that were still going Aren't up. Are they doing that right now again? I don't think so, no. Okay, good. No, they're not doing that they right now. They better not be. No. They're, they're, that was like a speculative the thing they were selling to people. But no, now the interest rate's about to drop. I'll give you guys the full financial. Yeah, how do you know all this? So we're going to buy a house. Oh, yeah. So the interest rate's about to drop right now. A tell me bit. when. This is what I do with my friends who buy crypto. I'm like, just text yeah. me. Crypto, Please tell they me when say the time. Crypto, uh, crypto, crypto, the crypto I waited till it was at its peak, and I was like, <laughs> now I'm, I'm in. Spend it. <laughs> yeah. I just lost twenty thousand. No, I did the same exact thing. I yeah. lost like fifteen k, and I was telling my buddy about it, and he's like, <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's, I'm losing it all. He's like, now you got to buy more. I was like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Now it's low. Yeah. Now well, it's the time. There's still crypto guys out there being like it's going to hit 250k. My my friend, my Reserve. good friend of mine, his name is Wes. Obviously, it's, he's a crypto bro. He like literally sold off his businesses. Like he's and he plays with like high high numbers. And I just told him I was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck. I was like, yeah, just you make a lot of money doing this. Just tell me when. And two days ago, he texted me being like, buy Bitcoin and buy Solano right now. Solano? He, yeah, he said like, Solano is gonna get really volatile. He's like, sell it. He's like, I'm gonna tell you when to sell it off. He's like, it's gonna be in a few months this summer. He's like, but it should do four to five times in revenue and i'm like what really dude and he's jewish and he's rich he's got a boat i'm like come on dude please don't fuck me dude Damn, i'm gonna fuck myself i know i am yeah, Did you buy probably it? not yet but i'm <laughs> i'm about to nothing crazy but i'm about to put a few thousand in just because i'm a big yeah. ethereum man myself You're ethereum guy. yeah, yeah but I mean. apparently ethereum's <laughs> I, yeah i found out <laughs> <laughs> shit sucked <laughs> lost everything yeah i i actually i told you i i bought it was like a hundred dollars worth when it was six thousand bucks Bitcoin? Yeah. And oh, then wow. I just was like, oh, I'm done with this thing. I like, got rid of my Robin Hood app, all that stuff. And then it shot up to like 60,000 bucks. And I was like, And you just opened it one day and we're like, Well, I saw it. And I was just like, Whatever. What am yeah. I going to do? Because then you can't rep the thing is, even if it happens once, your chances of repl replicating that success are very Oh, wait, you sold it and didn't make sold it. Sold it. I made like a oh. hundred bucks. Oh, that's I got it. But the thing is, when you do that, then you're like, All right, cool. You made $50,000 in Bitcoin money. It's like, all right, do it again. It's like, you're going to double down. Chances are you're, you're going to fucking lose the second time. Yeah. That's the problem with it. It's too speculative. You know what you should do? Focus on podcasting, hard work. More podcasts. Grinding. Bills. More posters. Yeah, more posters. The posters are working. <laughs> this, is, this is it, dude. The depraved sold out. Invest in the posters. People saw that <laughs> poster. poster. People saw that poster and said, holy fuck, the devil's going to do stand-up? <laughs> Tonight's going to be evil. <laughs> How evil was the show? It's pretty evil, dude. It was it's it's pretty totally different. normal. <laughs> <laughs> Regular evil. Dude, it was an evil show. The Depraved is a great concept. The mayor was evil. Did you did you do your most fucked up joke to start? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did my most fucked up joke. It was about Epstein Island. Nice. Yeah. How'd it, it go? Pretty Went pretty good. It was okay. You sounded it sounded like you had yeah. a really nice set. I had a fun time. That's no, great. everyone killed, dude. Yeah, People that was fucking a good show. Tearing it up, dude. Yeah, the mayor's Mayor's hilarious. Ripping. Yeah, the idea of the show, you have to start with your most fucked up joke and then dig yourself out of a hole. That's the idea. Nice. Yeah, it's my style. Like a grave. Hole like a grave. Dude, kind of yeah, like a grave. Until your hand comes up. <laughs> it's going to be the spookiest show you've ever fucking seen. <laughs> people had to leave. They were too scared. Were they really? A lot Dude, of I saw scared. a lady at the Creaking Cave for real, like, get pissed off and, like, smash a glass. It wasn't during my set. I was, like, walking in. And I was like, I'm coming in. I hear just, like, Oh, boom. It was like, oh, shit. I thought a waitress yeah. dropped something. I think it was Brian Holtzman. Was Holtzman's been killing people. He was screaming. His dude. whole Instagram is, have you watched his Instagram at no. all? No. It's great. It's just he films people leaving the show. Yeah. He has his opener outside, film people leave the show, and he's like, why are you leaving? And every single person's like, that was fucking racist and sexist. That guy sucks. I'm out. Dude, a lady. <laughs> he posted. <it. laughs> she just cleared like a tray of empty glasses and went, <laughs> and then walked out of the creaking cave, and I was like, oh, shit. 
That's crazy. Nobody, everyone just like looked at her like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. It's a wild way to handle a joke you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> just breaking people's property. <laughs> pretty fucked up. Should have tackled her. Should have speared her. Should have protected her small business. Should have went outside and shot a guy. <laughs> should have <should've laughs> killed that girl. <laughs> should outside and shot a guy. Yes. Thank God the small businesses are safe now. Thanks to a few patriots. There's a few patriots that protected them and saved us. <laughs> Thank God. I was so scared for them. Remember that when all the small businesses were getting like, blown up? When? Like last summer. Small businesses were being blown up? Yeah. Why? People were pissed. Or th- throwing shit through the windows and shit what do you mean yeah. when did this happen <laughs> never mind we're just talking about old crap <laughs> country's moved on yeah we have truly moved on this country yeah. has fully moved on which is nice yes i missed we the were pandemic in a, huh i missed the pandemic do you really yeah because i was like one of the only people not playing by the rules like yeah, oh you were out buzzing around doggy i was trying i was trying to fucking touch as many people as possible like i was hooking <laughs> up i was single for a lot of the pandemics so yeah was what just, was that like i'm curious about that Nobody was trying to hook up, so it was like girls were like, "Really, you're down?" I was like, "Yeah, come on, let's go. We can fucking yeah. We get a bus to ourselves today. <laughs> <laughs> Take the mega bus. It's gonna be awesome." <laughs> Wait, were there dudes that were like scared of pussy during the pandemic? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I think there's a lot of people. It was almost there was a lot of shaming going on. So if you were going out and you were like part of like the normal New York or LA crowd, people were like, "Dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you yeah. not staying home?" Like, that was a real thing. Yeah, like, if you did a show, people would like post it. Yeah, and be like, that's look at this lame. fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah, that's lame as fuck. I'm like, dude, I got a fucking throbber. I have a <laughs> boner. Some, I gotta go meet someone. Dude. I gotta stop jacking off at my parents' house. <laughs> I gotta kiss a girl. Yeah, that must have been cool. That must have been exciting. Yeah. So it was like STDs weren't even a consideration. It was just like, as long as we don't get this no, COVID, we could die. Yeah, we're all yeah. about to die. Who cares about us today? Did you get real sick with the COVID? I didn't think so, and then I remembered that I was I was deathly ill at the Legion of Skanks New Year's Eve 2019 <laughs> <laughs> party that we threw at the uh, the comedy store, and there was like 500 people there that I mean we were all smoking blunts and hugging and fucking yeah. it was just yeah like and I was I mean I was like I've never been this yeah sick. I can't smell anything I can't taste anything what's that and I remember that, like literally six months later I was like I was like I don't think I got COVID and everyone was like dude you don't remember that you literally started you COVID had COVID on New Year's yeah. Yeah, if you if you don't want COVID, avoid any Legion of Skanks <laughs> oh, type yeah, of it's still anything. <laughs> it's literally people sharing blunt spitting. Yeah, dude, Skank Fest is genuinely you're gonna just, get some type of a, hellish sickness. It's a petri dish of just disease. Yeah, yeah. There's actually there's that is a thing where people come back and they're like, I think I got that Skanks Fest COVID. People always say like I got like Skank. <laughs> you guys Fest are COVID. gonna invent a new. Yeah. Something's coming out. Of it. A new strain is it's coming the wet out. Of market. It. it is a real wet market. It's literally it's all evil KFC employees gather. Evil KFC employees gather and are like, we should do acid and spit on each other and piss. Oh, I fucking threw up on a girl. <laughs> oh, my girlfriend passed out again. Fuck. It, it is. It's just people passing out. Evil just Popeyes employees. Goth KFC employees. <laughs> it's Goth KFC employees festival. <laughs> and you get to watch like podcasters box. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> It rules. <laughs> it does rule. It rules. It, does, it rules, dude, and I love it. Wildly impressive. Oh, fuck it's dude, so it's fun. So stupid. It's wow, so God, fun. Dude, but if you really on, if you look at some of it, you're like, what the fuck is happening here? It's fucking sick. I'm nervous about this year because I feel like it's gotten a lot. Like the, this past year was so big. Like the amount of people talking about it. Yeah. Like, I'm nervous now that it's not going to be as many skanks that are at Skank Fest, and there's going to be a bunch of normal people there this year that don't know what they're fucking. They're going to be scared off. They're going to be fucking. <laughs> they're going to be scared off no, very quickly. Be- because we have like good. a lot of mainstream comics. In there. Yeah. I mean, all, all of our friends have become famous and mainstream at this point. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like yeah, dude. Like we're, uh, well, we'll see what happens. But I think there's gonna be a lot more like <laughs> normal, like yeah. hot chicks, and they're gonna be like, "What is fucking happening?" Oh god! Now they'll love it. They'll just move in and be like, "Get out of my way, gas station lady. I'm here." <laughs> yeah, the gas station ladies are gonna be so sad. The gas hot station lady coming through. The gas station ladies were cleaning up. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, gas station ladies go there and get plowed, but every Probably single dude love. loves the gas station yeah, ladies. Yeah. yeah, man. It's fucking ten Give to one. Some love, dude. Goth KFC dudes 10 to 1 against gas station ladies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Everyone's drinking soda. Everyone's just <laughs> on acid. <laughs> you don't know anybody who smokes cigarettes or drinks soda anymore except for its gay fest. <laughs> Everyone's just drinking a soda. <laughs> Fucking. You guys are building up to it. It's like every festival has to build up to it, like a tremendous casualty. So you guys are like, maybe will it be a Woodstock 99 thing, do you think? Do you think maybe. it'll be like a Travis Scott trample maybe well we had we were we were in houston we were in houston during, during Astro Skank World. Fest was the same time oh, yeah. you're right because people were i remember i flew back with the guy yeah he had he was all astro worlded out and he was just like you don't understand man if you weren't there you don't understand what happened he was like fighting with his friends on his <laughs> yeah. i'm like you guys charged you, guys you, trampled, <laughs> you trampled the children uh. you trampled a child to get 20 <laughs> feet closer to drake you psycho <laughs> speaking of drizzy so could, yeah. oh yeah yeah you see drizzy's unit i didn't see his unit oh i didn't see it i i heard about was this. that I'm one of pumped. your AI flyers? Can we please see it? <laughs> it's a decent penis. I'm sure heard, it's great, dude. Lamar right. wasn't impressed. Lamar's. Lamar said it was a long skinny. I saw it. I you said that it was, was a good it was a dog. Prober. He did have the proper angle. He was be, like, was he beating off? Yeah, he was kind of flopping it a little. Did he have Lamar? Did he have a take me to your leader? What do you mean, skinny probe? Yeah, dude. He had, he had a fucking, skinny probe, he had but. Skinny probe. He had, I mean, he had the perfect angle. He had like the hunter's photo where you yeah. put it in front of the camera. Uh, you know what I mean? You hold up the animal yeah. and you're behind it. <laughs> oh, you get like every bit of length. Yeah, like holding you know up a saying? fish. Yeah. yeah. And there, there was a bit of a base grab there too. Oh, he was pushing the bottom? You obviously, base bro, you know you need a base grab in a photo. <laughs> dude, come on, dude. I'm just saying. You got it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah let, let, me see, let me see what's going on with Drake's penis. On dude, I, <laughs> I, put my, I put my dick next to a replica of the Twin Towers to make it look bigger. When I send it to girls, that's what I do. <laughs> that's that's I do. funny. Yeah, it's nice. That's awesome. It's a nice penis. Yeah. Let me see. I didn't realize I was going to see him jerking off. Already, I thought it was a Paul. Gals like him. Like, Give him Gals like this guy. Oh, he's got a fatty. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, dude. that's yeah, how man. I felt. It's a big, long wang. He's he's sixty yeah. percent hard. First of yeah. all, that's, that's he's not thing. even blue chewed out, yeah, dude. He, he he's fucking. Moving it. He's flopping yeah. it. Yeah, I, dude. In order to fucking, it, my dick is that big, that <laughs> <laughs> that hard. It's a def- I'd have to use one finger to flop it like this. <laughs> Come and get it. Come <laughs> <laughs> here. You don't think he's got a honker? I gotta see your honker if you're talking like this. No, 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 no. He's so totally waiting to get my hands. He's hand got Gardini was going to grab the headphones. I thought you were for real about to pull his pants out. I'm like, whoa, Gardini. <laughs> Gardini's Gardini's not job pre- also, Drake's a big guy. I am. Is he a big guy? I think he's tall. I think he's a big guy. I think so. He's yeah. not a little little tiny humper. Yeah. <laughs> With a massive honk, dude. <laughs> I kind of like Drake in a weird way. I fucking love Drake. He's got great songs. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. fucking cool as shit. He fucking. Well, what's he got? The problem is the evolu- What's the evolution going to be? Bro, he's been evolving. He's been True, doing it he for has 15 been. years. He has been, but... Yeah, dude, he was fucking... He was a gay kid on a, a Canadian TV show. Oh, he was handicapped, like. yeah. Was he handicapped in the show? After he got school shot. He got school oh, yeah, shot? that's what happened. He got yeah. school shot and became I handicapped. Think by yeah, they were ahead of school shoot. That was like... Well, I guess it was Columbine. Yeah, it was yeah. Columbine. It was yeah. also Canada. It's like, they don't really True. have that problem in Canada. No, I'm not hating on the guy. I'm saying the evolution, what's the next phase going to be? What if when rappers being... hit their forties, they typically go into like yeah. spirituality, black Israelite stuff. The question's gonna be like Jay Z's now, like billionaire husband, like what's the evolution gonna be? Or is he gonna be messing I think with Drake's his thoughties? Just always gonna be fucking He could be cool. an old Playboy, an old boy Playboy. Yeah, I think he's gonna be cool. I think he's he made like a dance a house music C D album. That's sick. He'll, he'll probably change Some what of them he does. Are sad. You see like Snoop Dogg now, you're like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. Why are you hanging out so with I'm Martha s- Stewart? <laughs> You fucking asshole. <laughs> You're supposed to be Snoop. Yeah. Well, yeah. Martha Stewart's a fucking convict, though. Yeah, I know, but... She's convict music. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm always curious. Like, I, I, I like to follow rappers into the 40s and see what they do, and it's always kind of interesting. Like, who, I'm trying to think of, like... M, not, M had a rough one. M had... M he's had he's the beefing fuck. with Benzino still. Trump dog got M. What did Trump dog say? No, and Eminem made, like, a cypher. Oh, uh, yeah. He's like, should I pour this hot coffee pot? On Donald Trump's head. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, dude. He looks uh, weird too. Eminem, like, what, I don't know, really... white guys with money, they do this thing where it's like, he looks almost like rubber. You know, actually, speak, he looks like the when the Terminator had the fake face where he was in the mirror cutting his eye out, but you could tell it was like a rubber mask. <laughs> That's what Eminem looks like now. He's yeah, got the a new beard. look. Is... He's got a very dark beard. Yeah, dark beard, dark hair. Now he's just Marshall, though. Yeah. So. He doesn't call himself Eminem anymore? He's not Slim Shady. No, but I'm saying he's full Marshall, though. He has, like, dark hair, beard. He's just getting beefs with Benzino about, I don't know what. He's still getting Benzino? Yeah, they're beefing right currently. They're beefing as we speak. 
Benzino's daughter is like now getting in the mix and she did a song with Busta Rhymes or she was dressed kind of provocatively. There's I could go into rap beef. Dude. Let me hear it. I love rap. Dude, rap I beef. follow it constantly. I went on a fucking real journey of rap beef for a long time because I love the beef tracks. I just, dude, yeah, I, it's fun. I work out to beef tracks. That's it. That's kind of nice. And I don't take a side. I'll listen to one beef track <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm just as pumped, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it rules, dude. Fucking. Uh, I, I, apparently, Benzino said something about him on a podcast or something and now they're fighting. He just he just calls him probably called him like a culture vulture. That's a big that's the, that's the thing white guys deal with in rap. Tom yeah. McDonald's getting culture fucked vulture. right now, dude. Tom McDonald put out the number one Billboard hit. The number one Billboard hit with Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Fucking people are furious at him because they're like, dude, that's racist to say that all other rap is turning people's kids into thugs and strippers and you know it's like, well, obviously not all the rap does that, but there you could point to a lot of rap. I think Buck Cherry had a lot to do with women turning into strippers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't think that well, was as it much is rap. funny though to be like act as if they don't know. Like, there are trending rap artists that are for sure a terrible influence. Yeah, you can say that's not a racist thing to say, but it's also like you're nobody's a terrible influence. You got to be a good parent, exactly. Right? So no matter, I don't give a fuck. My son could watch any movie, listen to any rap. Exactly. I'm not worried about him becoming a piece of shit because I'm raising him right. Yeah, and he gets to watch this as you know, you know, a little treat. It's it's provocative. You get to watch this. Shit. I watch my, people going. I let him watch. I sort of let him watch South Park recently. Awesome. His mom hates it, but I'm like, it's just he's a good kid. He's not going to repeat this stuff. He knows yeah. what's wrong. He understands that it's provocative and it's wrong to say. Yeah. That's why it's funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah. South Park has kind of like an underlying moral though. There's a new sometimes, M- sometimes new NBA. Yeah, just, it was like a, there was ten there's seasons older ones. where there was no, yeah, there's older ones. no underlying <laughs> yeah. moral anything, dude. Dude, there, the new NBA Young Boy video, which I also follow a lot. It's just them reenacting like street murders. It's pulling up on ATVs and like visibly, like graphically shooting people in cars. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Well, they, there's like a whole thing where like there are rappers regularly murdering each other. Like I just know. like in the underground. Yeah. Like it's a real thing. It's like they start like they get a, a song that trends on like reels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you murdered the next week. <laughs> that's it's terrible. Yeah. So that's 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 the weird and like, dude, that stuff, people do like that stuff. Yeah, but it's like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but though. if you like, you kind of like watch it the same way you go to World Star. Nobody's going there and being like, oh, I want to be that. I think people are. Oh, yeah, they for sure. Are. But here's the, that's yeah. But you're right, though. It's like if your kid is if you're if there's nothing between your kid and the Internet, that's your that's the parents problem. Yeah, Did it. you hear about the kid who shot up the school recently and they're going to convict the mom now? Maybe the mom and the dad now are going to be faced with charges. And now they started leaking the fact that the mom was like going to sex parties I don't know why they were like, you should have got your kid mental health, like help instead mentally. Of getting fucked. Instead of fucking the, she was cheating on her husband with a fire marshal. And like, they were like setting up in hotel rooms and having like sex parties. But it's just all coming yeah, out as part of it. Where was it? Huh? It was like, a, I don't know, somewhere in like the Midwest or something. Yeah. It could have been Milwaukee's going wild. You think it was Milwaukee's going wild? Lamise, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, dude, it's like they're, they're like now trying to prosecute this mother. Yeah, and then they're like, "Did you know she was cheating on her husband too?" And it's well, like, what, what, what's crazy. the angle for prosecuting them? Though? Was it was it because the they legitimately the gave this? Kid they gave the kid a gun. The, access. The dad gave him a gun, but they locked it with like a zip tie or so, something like, or like one of those chain combination things. And they're like, "We didn't think he knew the combination. He just took the gun to school." That's crazy. Yeah. And the lady was like, "I was against the gun purchase," and then they were like, "You were cheating on your husband." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Whatever. You were a slut. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, yeah. It's also that's not like much of a deterrent. You know what I mean? If they're like, we're going to start prosecuting parents of sh- school shooters. Yeah. It's like, I'm pretty sure every parent's like, please don't be a school shooter. Uh, yeah, exactly. You know, and then every mean? school shooter's like, like, sweet. My parents yeah, are going yeah, down yeah. for I this. I hated them <laughs> also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, a nice threat, really, too, as a kid. Yeah, like, I'll shoot up my like, school. Yeah, if they're like, it's bedtime, you go, is it? Because <laughs> I'll get your gun and shoot everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying up to watch Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Mom, I know you're a slut. If I shoot anybody, your ass is going to jail. Yeah. That's Everyone's going to find out yeah. about what you did. Everyoneone's going to know. <laughs> Can I sleep over Jason's house tonight? Be like, but in a weird way, you guys like, are shooting up the school? <laughs> with a kid, though, you almost like... They are fucking kids, and I, you, there's a responsibility, there, dude. If your kid's shooting up a fucking school, I will say you did something wrong. Yeah, maybe not criminal, but like maybe you should look at what the fuck was going you on. You failed. In that household. Yeah. You yeah. failed in one way or another. Maybe dude. you overmedicated the fuck out of the kid. Maybe. Maybe the kid. It's tempting, yeah. dude. It's tempting, man. Because every like you could cut so many corners parenting now. You can have iPad meds. You can fully like yeah, just boggle your kid down. Yeah. 
Well, it's so. easier. Like people, you see it happen all the time. There's in a restaurant and they just give the kid an iPad and the kid is completely disconnected. Oh, I'm from doing that. I'm engagement. doing that every they single shut time. Down so hard yeah. they, they would do they'd be they're, make, they're making they'd like be future like autistic like i think like it's like learned autism you're gonna have people that have trouble making eye contact shaking hands fucking like doing any of that stuff because their entire communication is all built in this i'll be honest yeah. i could do without both those anyway <laughs> eye contact sucks and so does shaking hands. eye contact is... no you gotta look for your reflection in someone's eye so that you scare them dude did you did i send that to you do you see me do I you can't see, see yourself I can't see myself Look for your reflection in their eye and speak slowly and clearly. Eye contact oh, is God. pretty gay. You're right. Eye contact, and then when if you, you make bring eye up, contact with another man for more than one second, it's like, it's what are you weird, doing? Yeah. If you bring up eye contact and then talk about it, it's very uncomfortable. Oh we just yeah, did it we'll right we just now. Made yeah, eye we'll eye hate it, dude. Now the rest stop. of the podcast, we're going to be podcast on the spectrum, dude. Should we podcast on the spectrum? Should we hold hands? Yeah, I'd like that, dude. I can't wait to start watching that show. The show's incredible. I can't wait. It's great. I'm, I, I didn't know what it was. It's exactly what I thought it was. Like You, I, you I was, talk about crying running. I cry watching that show. You, you watch, you cry it's watching. It's so nice. Love on the spectrum. Yes. It shows when the parents are relieved. Like when the mom's like, I never thought He'd find love. they'd find anyone. <laughs> and like they, they go, the girl, the, the one boyfriend takes the girl to Africa. She loves lions. <laughs> so they go see the lions. And then the mom's like, I never thought there'd be a day where she didn't say, I need you. And this is great. Oh, wow. It's really fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's really sweet. That's yeah. beautiful, dude. The show is a tearjerker. It's a tearjerker. They're also innocent. They're angels, dude. They're sweet angels. They are absolute angels. And they dude, walk James hitting the fucking, that Instagram video about releasing sexually. <laughs> he put out an Instagram video of him just like, uh, I I heard that sometimes uh, it, it, the, the pressure is so uh, intense that sexually that you need to just release it or you can't think about anything else. Is anybody else experiencing this? My morning. Like, every morning yeah, of bro. my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally verbatim. Yeah, it, yeah it's absolutely. I said that exact speech to my girlfriend two days ago <laughs> oh, when yeah. she wouldn't fuck me. I was like, you know, I have to release. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to be in a bad mood all day. Uh, yeah. It's the only thing I can think about. Uh, <laughs> sexually release. Dude, he <laughs> Women just the... don't care. They don't care about the release. They don't they need understand to release. it. They, they like to hold it over you, too. They like to go, you don't... Uh, LaMare, you better start making me release. True. I've been in here begging LaMare to release me. <laughs> he won't He won't bring that voluptuous ass over to me. Let yeah, me use you. They have zero frame of reference. If for you like... stay here, I get free use. <laughs> True. Hey, when you're playing video games, you got to lay on your stomach so I can <laughs> come in and get behind you and... Yo. Come on, man. Lemise, it's not that big of a deal. Dude, yeah, I, you bet you Lemire, I bet you Lemire's ass from behind is pretty nice. Like yeah. bear. Just laying, but you imagine <laughs> laying, laying on. He's prone. You're behind him. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just, you get a, just get, putting, you're putting your face in it. Dude, get like a sniffing. Get Brazilian waxes too. Have him yes. like hairless, dude. I am going to make you hairless. He has to wear women's shoes and just lay on his back. <laughs> oh, I can see it. If I hear the clop of those high heels coming in here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you start pimping his ass out. Oh yeah. <laughs> start pimping. Any him. anytime somebody comes and visits, I go, there's Yo. a little treat out there. There's <laughs> <laughs> a sweet morsel. It'll be Shane Steen's Island, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is my temple. I should have them. I could paint it. I could get the red and white or the blue and white stripes. That's the temple. <laughs> there's a comedy millionaire pimping out 35 year old black dudes. <laughs> 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 that can't be a crime no way i told you as long as you're not tricking them man trafficking that, is when you trick or intimidate that would have felt like a trick though i was like come down here it's good for uh, comedy <laughs> next thing you know simon rex is going deep in your ass <laughs> <laughs> you're just selling them to all your famous yeah, friends <laughs> simon rex is plowing la <laughs> <laughs> This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. A common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be, quote, right. But sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Yeah. Therapy can be great to work through the challenges you face in all of your relationships, whether with friends, work, your significant other, or anyone. Going to therapy with your friend would be sick. 
we could, just, you and me could use some couples we could counseling. Do some couples counseling. After what you just did to me, <laughs> we're gonna talk. God forbid I won one we're game. We're gonna talk about it. God forbid I won. Oh, God forbid, dude! Actually, I have one thing, and you have to take they're it. Read- <laughs> the, by the way, they read your the, your body posture in couples counseling. If you're not sitting close together, they're like, "I noticed you're not sitting close together." I say, "Yeah, it's, he stinks." He fucking kicked me he in the head. He farted and he ducked. stinks. And he kicked me in the head. And he they tried ducked. to bring it up to his low kick strategy. It was just a fluke. I was ducking a punch. Uh, you don't duck a your leg kicks had nothing to do with it god see what i'm up against you know what i mean that's what i would say to the therapist i go do you see what i'm dealing with i'm fine it's it's the other one. <laughs> whether your friends work or something other or anyone if you're thinking of starting therapy give better help a try it's entirely online designed to be convenient flexible and suited to your schedule just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Become your own soulmate. Smile, Whether baby. you're looking for one or not, visit betterhelp.com slash MSSP today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash MSSP. That'd be a good therapist. Just a uh, cat calling man. <laughs> if you're a girl, you go to therapist, he's like, smile, baby. Smile, baby. I don't want to see you sad. Smile, girl. You look so much more beautiful <laughs> when you're happy. All right, guys, what the hell? (laughs) Are you looking for a super offer for Super Bowl 58? (laughs) DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. New customers can can bet big on they can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into two hundred instantly on bonus bets. Uh I'm not allowed to give you guys betting advice. Nope. According to this, but I do like checking out the lines and odds on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Yeah, man. Because you're going. not allowed to bet here in Texas. It's not online betting yet, but I check the, check the lines. I still have a Sportsbook to check the lines so I can keep You can up. also bet in your head and just be like, knew it. I bet in my head all the time, man. Knew it. Uh, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code DRENCHED. New customers can bet 5 bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code DRENCHED. The crown is yours. Fuck. Legal disclaimer. <laughs> Damn, this is it. This is the end of our day. Dude. That's the- this is We got power through. Finish the drill. <laughs> Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or in West Virginia, visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. Four six seven three six nine. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call eight 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 seven eight nine seven 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 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, twenty one plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire one hundred sixty eight hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. That was good. I tried my best. That was good. That thing's fucking tough. That's gibberish. That's the aggro, Craig. The thing that fucks me up is Boot Hill Casino in Kansas, void in Ontario. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? I have no idea. (laughs) I have no idea. All right, now let's get back to the show. Yeah, also please go to mattmccusker.com slash dates to go to shows. mattmccusker.com. Please. shanemgillis.com also. And also, stand up. Lewis. Lewis of Skanks dot com. L U I S. Lewis of Skanks. Lamare Lee is going to be at Cap City and I be, March 19th. And I'm sure some some other people will stop by too. It's going to be a who's who of comedians. And then you get to watch Lamare stretch his tiny ass. <laughs> <laughs> you get to watch Lamare stretch that gaping <sighs> hole at Cap City, ass city. It's a meat and pound. It's going to be a meat and pound Crap afterwards. Crap City Comedy Club. <laughs> There's going to be a meet and greet where you get to meet LaMare's cock. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that shit. Dude, Simon stayed here the last few days. That guy can fart, dude. <laughs> Simon, <laughs> Simon Rex? <laughs> Simon Rex. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I can put that out there. That guy can unleash he farts? farts, dude. I've never, I didn't think I could meet my match. Really? He destroys. What? We're talking 15-second farts. What? He can hold it, dude. It's like, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> he, he did that the other day and like just looked at me and went, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, dude. 
Yeah. Nothing better than farting with your boys, dude. Yeah. Complete, bro. I it's, hate it. I get so mad. You get dude. mad? What? I was dude, leaky this yesterday. Is, dude. This that's is, crazy talk. It, it, uh, well, if it's if loud, I can it's funny. Smell your yeah, fart. if it smells, that's a if, problem. If you can enter me with your shit true. particles. True. <laughs> true. It just feels so invasive. It feels like rape. Is this the way a rape victim feels? I, I assume <laughs> that if a woman is raped, she feels exactly like I feel if a man farts yes, in my presence. You've experienced and the I same trauma. Smell and taste it. I feel like a Yeah. Bit, the Ocon man can hit some nasty ones. You were hitting them out of the park I am, yesterday. Dude, I didn't I didn't really I couldn't smell You them. were farting in the car. Until I got to my car. And then when and we got like, to oh. Yeah, you were hitting some nasty ones. I was farting in a restaurant. At just, the restaurant. Didn't even <laughs> in know a I was car, farting. Dude, in a car is just fucking I was wild. farting like a dog though. Like I for real didn't know yeah, I was you didn't even know farting. Was farting. I you didn't know until the restaurant. Oh, remember that guy's dick on the ride home? Dude. <laughs> Dude, this guy was, it's like maybe 76 year old guy was outside to like jog, I guess, yeah. in like spandex shorts with just like a fucking bullfrog, dude, in his pants. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, and he kept like, you know, when people like girls wear like short shorts and they tug down on stuff? Yeah. He kept like trying to adjust himself and it was like. Yeah, I think you were, you hit the nail on the head there. He was clearly, he was like, damn, I didn't know my dick was going to be out this much. Yep. These shorts are intense. He was wearing, yeah, he was wearing compression shorts. Dude, and it was dong was out. Dude, if I wear compression shorts, I rolled the window down. It I said, turns hey. my dick into a pussy. <laughs> like it's oh, just yeah. so, there's no bulge. Compre dude, when I wear sheaths, it literally looks like I have Barbie's private parts. Like just a flat, like a like a tiny indentation of a slit. It creates a slit for some reason. Yeah, I don't know how. I have no fucking dick. It sucks. That's all right. That's why you were evil, man. You <laughs> said God cursed me. Yeah, dude, I remember one time, him. so I got kicked out of Equinox. I'm banned for life. <laughs> why? And um, there's he's been kicked out dozens of times. No, not from Equinox. I was I worked at Equinox for years. I I, I waved the Equinox flag. I love that place, dude. And I got into they an kicked argument. you out in the steam room, right? Yeah, I got into an argument with three dudes in the steam room because they were talking too loud, and it was my place of peace. And ironically, it turned into a just me screaming <laughs> in the Equinox locker oh, room. No. Just in the mist? <laughs> <laughs> Through the mist. Don't say in the mist around the mirror. That's fucked up. Come on, doggy. <laughs> I got it. You got it. Uh, I didn't get it. The, uh, no, it was, I was out afterwards. But I, then uh, I had to go to Lifetime Fitness, which is still a nice gym. Very nice, yeah. But it's a step down from Equinox. And maybe my third day at Lifetime Fitness, I'm in the steam room, and some dude just goes, <laughs> in the steam room in the fucking hot oh, steam room dude oh, and i just got crazy. kicked out of equinox so i couldn't like I, I was like i can't make this another fucking thing dude but it was the i mean it that was unbelievable it was the craziest thing i had ever experienced in my entire I life i never dude. even thought of that farting in a steam room is just because oh, yeah. the steam just expands yeah yeah oh. <laughs> Oh. Damn! Next time, next time we hit the sauna with Rogies, got a fart. Hit a fart. He might kill you. Spaz. It would smell he so would, bad. He would go Rogan crazy. Rogan would be so furious. He would go, he would go crazy. Fart, dude. No, you should go into his uh, uh, his fucking. What do they call it? The uh, the tank refloat yeah. <laughs> and just do water farts. <laughs> that might come back to haunt you though. That salt could enter. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Farting in the sauna would be. It's as funny as it gets. It'd be so loud. That's crazy. Somebody did that. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that fuck it. It's like a pew. Yeah. It's literally a circular pew. A the pew. Far, fuck would, yes, dude. It would bounce for it's pu. A solid joke. Pu. Yeah. It would bounce. My mom would say pew. It's very funny. She wouldn't say pu. If you farted around pew. my mom, she'd go oh pew. <laughs> and then Nobody I would do that, says that. Anytime she would go to the bathroom, anytime my mom took a shit, I would be there. <laughs> to go, mom, pew. <laughs> she would go, oh, yours are worse. <laughs> Yo, mom, pew. Keeping an eye on your mom for the shit is yeah, so fun. Where, where are you going? Dropping dolls. <laughs> they, they're pretty quiet about it, dude. They yeah. sneak off. They slink off, yeah. They're like dying dogs, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> go onto the porch. I was going to say the exact thing. <laughs> Speaking of RIP, Tibble. True. My cat died. Tibble's gone now. You had a cat here? I had a cat in my parents' house, and they oh. were waiting to kill that motherfucker. All, they, all it took was he didn't eat for three days, and they were like, all right, we're taking him oh, to the vet. He's, he's dead. <laughs> he was tearing that house up. He was fucking them up. Yeah, he was killing and he had a fucked up. He had a, he had a t terrible asshole. He, my cat had a fucked up ass. Mm -hmm. And anytime he took a shit, a turd would stay, and he would just walk around the house. There was always a turd. He was ready to go. He, it was time to go. I wish, he had gotten, he? I wish he had gotten one more summer. I think he was probably like 10. Yeah, that's yeah. how old do cats live for? They're fucking old. Are they really? They can get old. Yeah, I thought he was going to outlive my parents. 
Really? I thought he was going to ruin their lives for the rest of their lives. <laughs> we used to have it's kind of nice for them. That we, like, I grew gone. up in the suburbs, like just trashy. Like we just had like just like cats. Yeah. Oh, we, we just we'd find a cat under a porch. We just find like brand new kittens. We're like, let's take them. We take yeah, these kittens awesome. from yeah. their mom. Yeah, like, cats rule, dude. <laughs> before they were ready, and then we ended up having so many cats. It wasn't like we were like a cat house. We always have like three or four cats, right? Yeah. And that's then dumb. it's a cat house. It's hundred percent cat house. <laughs> it's a lot. Four gatos? Yeah, yeah. Four gatos. So my one Quatro cat. Gatitos. My one cat, Miss Kitty, she started we she we just let her like we never fix anything. Yeah, so you're cats. an evil KFC worker with a cat named Miss Kitty. <laughs> Miss Kitty. <laughs> yes, Miss Kitty. <laughs> but she would start fucking her babies. Like the cats would grow up. And I remember she had a litter with one of her children. Whoa. And those babies came out. I mean, talk about on the spectrum. You I mean, rough cats. Talking, these cats were cross-eyed. <laughs> they had, their feet were backwards. <laughs> What'd you do with them? She ate them. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, no. Miss Kitty ate <laughs> them? Miss Kitty was like, this is going to happen. <laughs> Miss Kitty ate her she own had children. A cat. That's a cat abortion. Yeah, dude. Holy That's shit. That's terrible. Man. <laughs> they were evil little fucking. Yeah, you should have like AI made them. You know, AI can't do hands. Yeah. They can't speed and balls are all fucked up. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Your mom was probably scared. Yeah. That's very, in a Hispanic house. That'd be yeah. very scary. No, my mom was me. white. My yeah. mom was white. Oh, you had a honky mom? My mom was, I'm half Puerto Rican, half Italian Irish. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. The funny side. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the Tibble, Tibble was a good guy. I'm sad about it. Not as sad as I thought I'd be. Yeah. Named after the Romeo and Juliet character. Yes. Nice. The Prince of Cats. Yeah, it was time for him, man. He didn't yeah, the, my parents were going through hell. My mom hated that fucking cat. Yeah, it was. He would bite scratching her. Scratching up furniture. He destroyed the Everything. entire, every single day he ruined their house. It's like literally you just, you have a couch and the couch goes, so I'm just going to just fucking. He ruins everything. He was yeah. shitting and pissing everywhere. My parents' house stinks. <laughs> <laughs> and they were, I bought my, I got my mom a pool. And she kept being like, we got to get rid of the cat. I was like, I will literally fill the pool with concrete <laughs> if you touch that fucking cat. <laughs> she, what did she thought? The cat was going like, to drown or something? Like, No, no. She was trying to kill the cat. Oh, and I, I was th- threatening I to take away the, the pool. the cat was going like, to fuck with the water. No, 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 no. I was threatening to, if they harmed Sweet Tibble. Just erect a humongous monument to Tibble? Tibble in the, <laughs> yeah, in concrete. Yeah, actually, big, I should. That's a good idea. Do you like a, do you like a two-inch fountain? With like a huge monument to Tibble. <laughs> like, well, now your pool is a skate park for my Philly friends. Oh, God. Get bees in there. Dropping in. Just fucking having Bam Margera <laughs> yeah. fucking hanging out in your pool. Yeah, I'm at Phil's house. <laughs> <laughs> what about Bam's How do you not become friends with Bam? I feel like that's in the trajectory I, of your life. I would like that to happen. Yeah. That'd be fun. I could just see Bam literally living on this couch at one point. That would be, that'd be chill. It'd be super chill to have Bam. And Bam would get free use on Lamezy. For yeah, sure. about to wake up Lemire. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Lemire's ass. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Is he like in rehab now or something? I know he was. Like he was doing way. the Florida Shuffle. That's yeah. what it was called. Is that what they call it? Yeah, they were moving him around from different rehab places. Yeah. Like, I think stroke. he's like 19 days sober or something like that. That's pretty good. When you hear somebody like that, you're like, he's bragging about 19 days. You're like, damn, dude, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> 19 days is good. <laughs> days. Yeah, you're really counting the hours at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that's tough. It's got to be tough for him, though, because it's like, you know, it's one thing to get sober, but if you've like dropped, descended from like uber fame and then you like get sober, it's like a tough adjustment. So what the hell are you up to? I guess he has enough money, though. Uh, maybe not. I think he does, dude. You think so? You think he's still got a lot of cash? Was, yeah, dude. He had a ton of money. I don't know how he's doing. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, he's not, if you're not working, like there's not like a lot of residuals from Jackass at this point. I mean, the movies. I think there are. You think so? That much? Yeah, Where he can fucking bro. sustain a fucking those move? Uh, yeah, those movies were. Global. I guess it's true. I do get a seventeen dollar check from the Jim Gaffigan show once every three months. Do you? Hell so, yeah! From one episode of the Jim Gaffigan show, and he has residuals ago. on all Viva Bams. Yeah. But you can also burn a lot of money doing drugs and stuff. You burn a ton of money buying houses yes. and fucking doing drugs. And like, I'm just, I don't know if the residuals from Viva La Bam would keep him rich. He's probably straight, though. I he's, think he he's was probably... richer than you would imagine. At yeah. No, I, no I, I, don't, I didn't even realize that money was a thing. AI in, boys, get on this. Yeah. In life. Like, I, I had no idea. Like, I, up until four years ago, I thought the max you could make was $2,000 a weekend as a comic. Yes, yeah, from Big sure. J, from opening for Big J, I was like, dude, imagine two thousand in a yeah. weekend—that'd be wild. Yeah. Um, and then I 
then I found out the reality of things a few <laughs> years later. And I was like, why did I say the N word so much on camera? Why am I a fool? All I had to do was tap it in. I yeah. was right there. You were, you were so close. <laughs> now you're banished to the demon realm. <laughs> yes. The show tonight's going to be so comedy. scary. <laughs> <laughs> if you can guess my name by the end of this show, I will give you your life back. <laughs> Lewis. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's Bam Margera's net worth, dude? These are never really completely yeah, it's accurate, be but it says Bam Margera a is an American yeah, skateboarder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it says a million, and he has a lot of like restaurants and other clothing brands and stuff that I think generate. Oh yeah, dude, still. he's got like yeah, he's got skateboards. skateboards sneakers he has a lot of businesses. Yeah. And stuff. yeah, he's chilling, dude. Bam is straight. Hell yeah, dude. I would, I would, I would love sure to get Bam on Legion of Saints. That'd be a great Legion. I don't think that would be hard to do. I think you'd probably get him. Yeah, getting Bam on there would be nice. Yeah, be sick. You could, you could, yeah, you could. Is he, he's beefing with Steve-O and stuff, isn't he? I think that's off and on, yeah. I'll, dude, I'll, nice. I'll side with yeah. fucking Bam in a heartbeat. I'll, I'll end my relationship with Steve-O right now to become <laughs> friends with Bam. <laughs> you know, if I can listen to Steve-O's fucking scratchy-ass voice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Ask you so cool. Oh, fuck Steve-O. <laughs> oh, God. We need Knoxville. Knoxville, uh, Knoxville, Knoxville's above he all. Knoxville's, yeah, Knoxville's royalty, dude. Knoxville's yeah. king. Yeah, yeah that, was, and that Game of Thrones, he for sure <laughs> yeah. ascended. He was always, though. He was the king kind of the whole time. Yeah. yeah. How you did know? they even get in, introduced to each other? Yeah, wasn't he already sort of like on like a trajectory? Knoxville was he doing was stuff. You can't kill yourself. He was not in CKY. Yeah. But then Steve-O was doing his thing. I think Tremaine, is that his name? Yeah. Uh, Jeff Tremaine. Yeah, he put them all together. He was like, here's all you guys are making the same shit, basically. Oh, Knoxville is Let's make a show. Extreme yeah. Stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. Johnny Knoxville. I would have done all that shit if I wasn't a pussy. Like, I was yeah. way in, but I was like, I'm not hurting Dude. myself. When that came out, I think I'm sure all three of us gave yep. it a shot. Try to the home jump video down, like, out. three steps. Jump off. <laughs> <laughs> jump off a shed into a bush and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Just not tap your buddy. I was also. <laughs> I did not tap. I was also afraid myself. Yeah, I'm a pussy. I can't. I'm I not like, pussy. I can't. Do any of that shit? Mm-hmm. All my friends started skateboarding. I decided, I was, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an aggressive inline skater. I'm gonna rollerblade, <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't do any and tricks. It saved your fucking life. But I couldn't do any tricks. I couldn't, I couldn't jump and land a, like a, a rail slide or any of that no, shit, man. dude. No, it's impossible. I can just skate the way pretty girls skate through a park. It's good. That's kind of nice. Yeah, you but I can do. go backwards. I can cross over. Really? You go backwards? Oh yeah. That's do you ever awesome. fuck with any verts? Half pipe? Uh, one time, not on rollerblades. So when, the first time I went to Amsterdam when I was 22 years old, mm-hmm. we stayed in a place called Utrecht, which is like yeah. 45 minutes outside of Amsterdam. It's like a different city. Um, but we were just poor. We were like, oh, we can get a hotel for $110 a night. <laughs> and so we like had to fucking take a 40-minute train ride into Amsterdam every day to bang hookers and get weed. <laughs> and take back <laughs> to Utrecht. A fucking super train home every night. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> it fucking blew. What were you doing in Amsterdam? We were just hookers and weed, dude. <laughs> That was it. It was before what we was Utrecht. Legal. Was Utrecht just popping? Utrecht didn't have anything, dude. We literally <laughs> just took a suburb. <laughs> we went to a suburb yeah. to come. It's like staying in Westchester when you're visiting yeah, New York yeah. City. There's no reason. <laughs> so uh, in Utrecht, there was a half pipe like for like skateboarders and we had rented those like big fucking stiff dutch bikes oh my and i was God. like dude i'm gonna hit the half pipe with oh, the dutch no. bike, dude. and i literally <laughs> went and i just went i flipped <laughs> over the fucking thing and it just landed on top of me and i went oh and i laid on the ground for like a half an hour while dutch people laughed at me <laughs> my mom died when i was there oh who yeah. was there when I was there, my mom died. Oh, I was fuck. in Amsterdam. I didn't find out until I got home. Who <laughs> was there? Damn. <laughs> I didn't hear you said I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, so you got back from the trip and you got home. You're like, damn. Yeah, I, the, when I got back, yeah. I'd like to think that it was when I entered my first legal prostitute that my mom's heart gave out. Like, that was the moment. Fuck. Her that is, you like, are. Oh. That's why you're fucking. Yeah. 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 Damn. That's, I mean, man. Could have been. Hell yeah. It's a chance. It's a shot. Maybe. How, what was it like getting legal prostitutes? Um, Would you, how, do you like shake their hands like, ma'am? Uh, yeah. Partner? No, they were like just sort of more like um, like clinical, I want to say about it. Really? Like prostitutes in the States, like they vary from like being like, all right, you're fucking entering a hotel room and banging them for pretty cheap and you're just sort of yeah. in and out. That was sort of the energy. Like you're, you're, you pay, I think it was 50 euro, um, fucking suck. 
50 yeah. euro fucking suck. <laughs> Did she like it? Uh, no, she loved it. I loved her. We yeah. were in love. That's dude. nice. But they were like literally. How many times did she? They come? were like European <laughs> models, dude. They were like yeah. they were. We're talking. I don't know if you've been to the red light district in Amsterdam, dude. But these are like some of them look like like fucking yeah. garbage animals, and then some of them are the most beautiful women you've ever seen in your entire life. Like, really? Like crazy? Like like yeah. So wildly hot to the point where you're like, why would you do this? Just go find a rich guy. I don't understand yeah. it. Like you can definitely find an old rich guy that you'll just fuck this one gross guy yeah. for your life. You could probably cheat on him and he'll take care of you. I don't really understand the mentality of a that beautiful of a woman selling her vagina for fifty dollars to tourists. I'm I, sure I, there's a evil man behind that. You think that there's trafficked? Mm, definitely. That makes it hotter. <laughs> that makes it better for me. Yeah. But I was in the red light district in Hamburg, Germany, which is not even close to as good as that, but they were all still, I was Hot. like, oh my God, these are the prettiest ladies ever. Hottest Nazis you've ever yeah. seen in your entire life. So these are some quality Nazis. <laughs> Hot Nazi. <laughs> you guys got some good Nazis here. <laughs> I see why you were trying to preserve this. <laughs> but very, very clinical, very like, you know, they fucking open their legs, you go, yeah, 10 I minutes, like, you're I fucking like out. Your but you got to walk out into the street and other guys are like, oh, hey, what's up? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After you came, you don't have like the 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 inside of your body nut, like whatever. You just don't care. You're like, oh, I got nut. I gotta get out. You don't care who watches you walk in. <laughs> yeah. But when you walk out, you're like looking out the window to make sure nobody's yeah, there. The shame. Yeah, it's very shameful. Yeah. It's fun to get guys on the way out of there and be like, yo, yeah. yo. I, what did you we, just do in there? We, <laughs> I was knocking down a parking garage of work, and like where I was standing overlooked right into an alley where wishy washy was. So I just stood there all day. People come That's out awesome. like, yo, and they just turn around and be like, one, one dude, usually guys would scurry away. This one guy looked up and went, <laughs> and just walked away. Awesome. I was like, what a beast, dude. Yeah. I've, yeah, I'm not going to put dirt on the man's name. What we we saw my uh, my dad my dad and my uncle witnessed an NFL great walking out. Of <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna put dirt on the man's name, but it was just funny. I just it came to mind. Did they yell his name? No, they were like, "Holy shit! Look at the yeah. fucking!" Uh, I was like, "Oh shit! Yeah, nice." <laughs> Holy shit! It's Carson Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> it's Donovan McNabb. He came out of it and puked. Came out McNabb. Yeah. Hold on, I'm literally trying to name a football player. Hold on, I got this. John Elway. There nice. you go. Elway would be nice. Elway would be nice. I could see he probably mess with the pro ladies. Yeah, he's a unit. Yeah. He's a big dog. That fucking we were watching that Marino. You like that Marino. I like Marino. Yeah. I didn't know he awesome. was that good. I knew he was good. Yeah. I didn't know he was that good. I met, Marino? I met Marino this past weekend. at uh, the I was at a Bud Light thing. And uh, he is not much for talking. What what are you Bud Light thing? I had to, I went a to a multi million dollar signing. Go fuck yourself. No, no, no. It was <laughs> a, this Bud Light thing. It was like, you know, no, I was it was find my name a Bud Light paper. conference. <laughs> <laughs> I had to talk. No, you didn't. Yeah. Did you, did you, did you, did you perform yeah. or you was, was it speech? comedy or just like sort of No, like, it was like uh like, hey, we're not gay anymore. <laughs> hey, hey. No, what? it was like a it was like a convention thing for all the wholesalers for Bud Light. So they had they like made an announcement. They're like, We're partnering with the hottest comic ever. Oh my god! And then April and then, Macy. And then they brought me out, and I had to be like, "Were hey. people like pumped?" Yeah, they were pumped. Some nice. people. That's yeah. awesome. Did you? It was like a speech, more so, or like a hello. I literally talked for three minutes. That's awesome. Did yeah. you do any jokes, or you just said, "Hey, I'm happy I did to some be jokes. Nice. I did some fun jokes. They they were like because they give you parameters. It's obviously oh, a pretty cool. serious thing. They were like, "Don't talk about anything. Don't say. You need to drink responsibly." You know what I mean? They're like, just say you drink responsible. So I got out there. I was like, I got so fucking responsible last night. I'm going to get responsible tonight. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah, it was That's nice. Funny. We had a good time. But I met Marino afterwards. He's a Michelob Ultra man. Oh, wow. So I, I was like, they were like, do you was want to do Was he there doing corporate like, espionage? Yeah. No, no, no. They're, that's Anheuser Busch. Oh, the. Yeah. It's weird. It's because I got invited to go to a Yo Kratom conference. And <laughs> yeah, I was just. You got to meet Bam. <laughs> 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 it was just a bunch of you know g gas station ladies just kind of zonked out <laughs> sleepy gas station sleepy ladies. Gas by the station way ladies. all the guys they have yo kratom or they have kratom here yeah and uh all the guys here don't know what it is what do you mean they seem to think it's like a health elixir uh, i guess our introduction through to kratom was through you guys well look. so we always kind of viewed it as gas station goth fuel <laughs> <laughs> And now it's like it's well, some like people fucking, they, there's different strains i guess some of them make you like sleepy some of them give yeah. you like more alert like i know justin silver uses it to like write and shit which is fucking stop <laughs> uh, 
dude, you need a new method. Yeah, <laughs> me, that was me and Beezer's like favorite thing was when he was making those dog videos about like dog CBD. Yeah. He was oh, like, man. I'm here with Kona. <laughs> Kona, come here, girl. This is, I'm giving her CBD. <laughs> Kona takes dog CBD. So, uh, but you know, but, but it really the use for it is fucking You'd be like shirtless. Doing push ups with yeah, chains. He's doing, he's doing power ups. <laughs> yeah. He's like, now I'm here with Kona. <laughs> this is Dolly. She has separation anxiety. <laughs> I'm giving her dog Kratom. <laughs> so, but no, it, people use it instead of fucking being addicted to pain or being, yeah. pain pills or being addicted to heroin. It's like a, a better alternative to that. That's the, sure. the the use case that I've seen it used for yeah. in, a, in a positive way. Some people use it recreationally and they just get a little high. I did it a few times. I took too much one time and I was like, it made me really. Yeah, doesn't make sick. you nauseous. Make me super nauseous and I can now now I can't even smell it. Um, yeah, but it tastes like shit. I, the first time I really saw it was Josh Adam Myers was crushing that yeah. shit. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm sober. And I watched him. Crush Drink kratom. a gallon of kratom. Yeah, I, I, I think it's yeah. like small doses. It gives you like an energy boost. And Don't mean to snitch doses, on Josh. It's like an opiate kind of. If it yeah. makes it, it, it does. Of, it feels like you took like two Percocets. Yeah, that's what it feels like. But yeah, did, don't do it. I know. I, I saw that. <laughs> you stuff. don't want none of this stuff. I saw yeah. that stuff from a mile away. You can just like, go to the gas station yeah. right now and get two Percocets for yeah, like true. eight dollars. <laughs> I saw my gas station. If you can get kratom, every gas yeah. station in this country sells kratom, dude. They do. And now they sell the Delta Nine weed, which is just weed. Yeah, it's, it's like Delta weed. Nine weed, hemp derived. It's like it's just weed. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, somebody told me yesterday he got arrested because it was a comic. No, I guess it was on Kill Tony. The other guy, the guy was telling the story how he got arrested because he told the cop that it was regular weed in his vape pen. And the cop was like, Is this Delta Nine? He's like, No, it's real weed. The cop's like, You're under arrest. <laughs> what? You're fucking moron. Yeah. Wait, what was going on in the Kratom Expo? What were people doing? Or no, there wasn't really a Kratom Expo. There was a conference? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Uh, but yeah, got to meet Marino. That was sick. That's awesome. He didn't, I was excited to meet him. He didn't, he didn't reciprocate. Well, he was doing his thing. He had to, he, his thing was like a meet and greet thing. So he was already, uh, he was kind of in the middle of, or he was about to, it hadn't opened yet. So I was just there and he was like, you could tell he was getting in his taking pictures, meet and yeah. greet mode. Mm. And I was hitting him with like, so you went to a uh, Pittsburgh central Catholic? <laughs> he was like, Yeah. I was like, I, I grew up in like Harrisburg, so it's not that far. It's like a three hour drive. So I know I, 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 he's like, he's nice. like, I was like three hours away. That's so far away to be like, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you're from Philly? Yeah, sick. I'm from Washington, D.C. So <laughs> basically the same thing, you know? It's about like, yeah. All right. Yeah, it was. Damn. It was uncomfortable for me. She'd be like, Zach, you just kidding. I'm fucking yeah. Whoa, what if I tackled you? <laughs> like, I'd beat your fucking ass. <laughs> all right. She'd be like, all right, man. Yeah, all right, cool, man. Fuck you. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> I met the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. He was there. Did you really? He was the man. That's awesome. I met the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, once. He, he was rules. not the man. He was not what do you being do? friendly? No, because I wasn't at a conference. I was at a diner, and I saw him. Oh, yeah, that'll and do I didn't, it. I didn't, I didn't, I, look, if you fucking see a celebrity, right, if they're eating with their family or friends, like you don't fucking go up to them. That's yeah. obnoxious as shit. Right. Yeah. I didn't do that. Okay. I was walking out of a diner. <laughs> I saw him it, like just taking a seat in a diner with like maybe it looked like business associates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you know what they were. It looked like a, <laughs> a couple business guys. Yeah. And, uh, and then like a chick, like a hot chick. And then as I'm walking up, I was like, oh shit, Chuck Liddell, what's up, dude? I just did that. As I'm like walking out of the diner, yeah. like, you know, like yeah. that. And he literally stared forward like he was pissed that he was being recognized and was like and i was like what like nothing no acknowledgement but like almost like a pissed off fucking look like i was about to come over to him and be like oh can i get a picture can i get an autograph yeah it's like go fuck yourself you fucking loser fuck you dude who you or him him Who's the loser? fuck him dude you're the loser you yelling no, out his name I, I, a diner? no that's not a loser he's thing to do. ice man dude, dude, you know dude how many, not, no 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 he, he should be appreciative of the ice. fact that people know who the fuck he is dude he's the ice man what are you it talking doesn't matter, about dude. No, Wait, how, how long ago was this what year this was after his retirement like way after his retirement this is fucking you know maybe five years ago i want to say okay. and he just he iced you he the name fit the name fit he's ice cold as ice dude yeah, but he probably got hit. Think about the fans he had. Dude, he probably got hit with the craziest dudes. Yeah, UFC fans. UFC fans dude back suck. then. <laughs> dude. Oh. Like now they're a lot more. Well, it's more better. mainstream now. Back then it was just dudes. It was Skankfest. Yeah. <laughs> it was a dude bunch of KFC guns. <laughs> UFC, 
Monster Energy t-shirts being like, Iceman, dude, it's such a fucking pleasure to meet you, Iceman. <laughs> could you fucking, that's what they were doing to him a little there. People were like, could you fucking, it'd be so sick to knock me out. Could you, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I understand. And I, if I would have, if I would have picture? approached his table like, and if I would have said, if I would have been a, like a weirdo, it would have been one thing, but somebody said, you just fucking say what's triggered, up, dude. dude. It's he fucking saw crazy, you. dude. That's crazy. It's a crazy thing. What time of day was this? Nighttime. 10 Nighttime. o'clock at night. Were you inebriated? I don't think so. You were sober? <laughs> Who are the Jews you're hanging out with? <laughs> yeah. Look who are at these me. Jewish guys? Acknowledge me, Iceman. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even look at me, motherfucker. <laughs> how mad were you when you <laughs> how mad were you when you got I was your with car? The <laughs> yeah. Oh, I look like a fool. Oh, I look like a fool. Oh, you know I do a podcast the, with Michael Mister, just so you guys emerge. know. Uh, Did you say that to him? No, I didn't say uh, I literally said I, I think I said like oh, what's up, Chuck, or like Iceman from like as I'm walking out, I was leaving. I was in yeah, a yeah, trajectory. Yeah. And in that scenario, you just go, you go like, ah, oh, what's up? Yeah. Please yeah, that knows. is, yeah, I know what you mean. But you, you know, hitting you with the fucking. In front of the lady, getting iced in front of a lady while you're fanning out, that does hurt. Oh, dude. <laughs> you're with a girl, you probably got in the car like, motherfucker. Nah, you, get, you get in the car, <laughs> you're like. the steering wheel. <laughs> you're probably like. Oh, I was like, like, no, I know him. Yeah. He jokes like that. That's just, it's like a gag that it's he does every time with his close friends. fucking with me like that, dude. We got a thing going. Classic chalk. Classic Chuck, dude. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother him. <laughs> I'll see. I'm gonna, see I'm gonna text him right text now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send him a text right now. <laughs> ice man, what's up, dude? Classic ice. Got That's me. It's a great reality yeah. show for you. Got iced. And it's just chocolate home getting pissed at people recognizing in a public place. To your phone, you're like, send a text to the Ice Man. Yeah. <laughs> ice Man, really, really hilarious that you did that. <laughs> really good to see you, dude. Oh man. Yeah, that's oh. good. Let's uh, let's switch over to yeah, the Patreon. The with the patch. Thank you, Lewis. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Fucking mad. I love you guys. Love you, love Lewis. You. Hell yeah. Can I promote Missed my you. tour? Yes. Yeah, promote your tour. Yeah, come see me live. Lewisofskanks.com. The mediocre tour. I'm going everywhere. I keep on adding new cities, and uh, yeah, check out my my specials. Hell and yeah. Specials on YouTube. All that shit. Hell yeah. yeah. Sick. 